Hello everyone and welcome back to Apaya Puzzles and today as promised I have a unusual cryptic crossword for us. Um, we'll see how this goes. Uh, I'm not quite sure how confident I am about this but I have reason to believe I can at least make a start. So uh, I'll explain the backstory. I was recommended a video by another crossword YouTuber who streams on Twitch as well and he had completed this puzzle and I looked at the first couple of minutes uh, with the preamble where he was explaining the rules and I had a look at the clues and I just noticed that the first clue seemed very straightforward. I thought, well, maybe I could actually give this a go myself. So I haven't looked any further than that, so I don't know if it gets any harder. <clears throat> now, uh, I emailed him to find out where I could find the puzzle. And as you can see, I've had to set it up in Excel because it's got a fairly unusual setup. Uh, and <clears throat> He sent me the link to a page belonging to um, the setters who are Emily Cox and Henry Rathbun. It turns out they were, and maybe still do, I'm not sure, but for many decades it seems, uh, producing various, uh, I think I think maybe, maybe not pro exclusively, but primarily um, crossword related content, uh, but these kind of variety crosswords. So there's some additional things going on. Uh, and there were hundreds of puzzles on this page and this is the one that he had done and so we're going to give it a go uh, but it does feel like it might be a veritable trove of excellent puzzles to try and it was quite sweet uh, i intended to bring this up um hang on let me pause i can't find it find it now but the um the actual pdf of this was a photocopy of an original physical piece of paper with this puzzle on it which apparently was part of some sort of newsletter that they distributed back in the day. Uh, so it's very old school. And at the bottom of the page, there was a little note saying, it's presumed that the solver is familiar with the conventions of cryptic crosswords. If not, if you'd like information, then please send a self-addressed envelope to this address and we will mail you a kind of guide to crosswording. So, um, so this is a real piece of history, this one, and hopefully it's a good puzzle. I'm fairly confident it will be. The question is, will I be good enough for it? So um, let me uh, read the rules and then we'll see if we can make some sense of it. So, uh, so it's called Guidelines and it's by these Emily Cox and Henry Rathbun, Rathbun from The Puzzler, which I assume is, is the name of their publication. So across and down clues are given in no special order but their answers do belong in symmetrically matching spots in the grid. So um, we've got these across clues here and we're gonna have some down clues and there's these other clues up here which we'll explain in a second. And the order of these clues is not as per normal. So um, clue number one doesn't necessarily go up at the top left somewhere. They're gonna go around the grid, but they will be, um, as it says, uh, symmetrically matching spots. So for example, if there was a, an answer here, I think that means there would be one down here as well, as in a regular cryptic or regular crossword. I think that's what that means. I'm not sure how relevant it will be to know precisely if that's what we mean, but we'll see. Um, since the diagram contains no bars to show where entries begin and end, we offer six guidelines, shaded rows and columns, to help you find your way. So bars are what would normally appear in an American style crossword, where you would have um, a, a bar along here telling you that there's a word that finishes at that line and something that starts there. Or you could have another one here um, telling you, oh, hang on, that's right telling you that there's a line, a word going through there, but nothing going across, etc. So the bars are not included, but we will have to actually um, locate them and put them in as we go. Um, but it tells us that it's provided us these yellow entries. Um, and these are the guidelines, and we've got some clues for those here. Uh, so continuing the rules, um, each guideline contains a pair of entries totaling 13, ent 13 letters. These two entries are clued consecutively in each case, but the six guidelines are listed randomly. So for example, we've got this guideline, this first clue A, there's two clues, this one and this one, and they make uh, 13 letters and they go together. So we don't know exactly where they are. They could be this guideline, this guideline, this one, one of the other ones, but they will go 
in a, in a pair. So in this case, the first one would be six letters ending there, and then uh, three and four going that way. So, um, an additional guide is given by the nine circled letters occurring at the guidelines intersections, reading from left to right and top to bottom. Clue answers include eight capitalized words. So I haven't got the circles, but I've just highlighted these yellow circles, these yellow squares here as dark yellow. They are what are referred to in the clues as circles. And um, reading left to right and top to bottom, I think that's going to spell a word, which might be useful in understanding the crossword further. And this clue answers include eight capitalized words. I think that just is telling us that some of the answers are proper nouns, uh, just to spare any confusion that we, because maybe they, maybe the convention is that normally you shouldn't have proper nouns in a crossword. I'm not sure. <coughs> so um, that is what we know. That is what I know. And I think that is all there is to say, uh, except that this is an American couple. I believe they are a couple actually. Um, and so being that it's an, an American crossword and it's a kind of American style in a way, because we're going to end up with a, with a full grid here, I think. Um, there may be some Americanisms or some kind of really obscure kind of Scrabble language. Hopefully not. Um, certainly the first clue didn't seem to suggest that. Although my suspicion might be that the guideline clues are the easier clues and then they get a bit harder down below. So we'll see. Um, so without further ado, let's get waffling. And actually this, uh, this puzzle looks fairly like a waffle. So I think it's very apropos. Um, so let's start, let me just um, get this all right on my end. It was quite a feat of configuration of my screen to make this all work. So. Uh, and then I've just moved something, hang on. <laughs> okay, so uh, there we go. Um, so A, <clears throat> now bear in mind, this A does not refer to this A here. Uh, in fact, I can't see, uh, that's annoying. Just give me a second. In fact, let me just pause. Okay, I think that's better now. Um, I've got the numbers along the, bottom, the top and the letters down the side. Um, I put them in just because the guy on his video had done the same, but I think um, it's mainly just so I can tell, I can refer to the columns and rows for your purposes. They don't refer to these numbers and letters over here. So, <clears throat> uh, so let's go. Um, debut of guidelines with sharp new diagrams. So it's kind of self-referential clue. And this is one that I thought was easy. So I saw this and thought, oh, this is worth giving a go. Um, oh, now I don't know where it goes in the grid, so I'm gonna put my answers in here. Uh, yeah, good. So um, let's just make sure they're not bolded. Okay. Uh, so debut of guidelines would be the G and a new version of sharp would be um, graphs. So graphs is uh, our diagrams. I think I don't want that to be bold. And stuff amplify into electrical connector. So I've not seen this one yet. Um, so an amplify is an amp usually, and that's going to go inside of an electrical connector. Uh, plug? <laughs> is this a word? Pan plug? I don't think so. Um, where would the division be if it has, it can't be there and, I, and it can't be there. It would have to be there. Ah, to stuff is to jam pack. So a jack is a electrical connector. Okay, beautiful. So we're off to a start. Now, meat company caught in prohibition. Oh, that's easy as well. That's uh, bacon. So company is CO and prohibition is ban and meat is bacon. Company is caught inside of prohibition. Nice. Republican attorney criticizes rundown buildings. Well, Republicans often an R. Is there an abbreviation for an attorney? Maybe just A. You've got uh, um, attorney general, AG, district attorney, DA. Um, criticizes. So then we'd be looking for rundown building. 
buildings, or maybe a word for criticizers without the letter R, having it having the run taken down. Um, and then buildings or run down buildings. I don't, I'll come back to that one. Um, Herb's shilling added to money deposited with the court. Oh yeah, so um, money deposited with the court is bail and a shilling is an S and that's being added to it. So we get basil for Herb. Catching cold, mother experiments with molds. So cold is often a C. So maybe we're gonna have a word for mother catching that C. Ex oh, hang on, experiments. So mother experiments with a C inside of it. Well, mother's often MA. Um, experiments could be tries. Ah, matrices. Is a matrix is a matrix a mold? I guess so. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. It seems pretty likely from the wordplay. If it, that if that had been definition only, I don't think I'd ever have sold that. Um, prepare a salad including voila crisp tortillas. Um, well, voila often means ta da or here. Well, ta da has a certain Mexican vibe about it, doesn't it? If we're looking for crisp tortillas. So it ended in an S. So we need a four letter word for prepare a salad. Ah, uh, toss, tadas. So to toss is to prepare a salad and that's including tada, which is going swimmingly. Okay, archer's weapon, that is a sort of knife. Uh, well, sort of knife could be an anagram of knife. I don't know if there's a weapon that I'm unfamiliar with. I can't see many obvious anagrams of that. Um, well, what is an archer's weapon? An arrow? I don't think. Or the bow, so we could have bow. That is, could be IE. <laughs> hmm. I'm also wondering whether I should use Google with this, given the potential for strange Americanisms or just words I don't know. Because um, this could be quite an exercise. I don't want it to take 17 hours. Is there a kind of knife called a Bowie? The wordplay w would work really nice, wouldn't it? I'm going to leave that for a second. We could probably, we're gonna be able to confirm this, I think, if we can get most of the answers once we put them in. Um, so let's see. Ground resistance assumed by prisoner of war act. Right, is R, is resistance R? I think there's I as well. That might be ampage or something, I'm not sure. Um, let's say there's an R being assumed by, so being added to Prisoner of War Act. Well, Prisoner of War is obviously the likely thing would be POW. So you have POW at the beginning. I mean, you couldn't have POW because the R would have to come in, but the, the E wouldn't make sense in that position, I don't think. And then the definition would be ground. Ah, this is powdered. I remember a DA clue, um, beautiful clue. One of the one of the great clues, I think, actually, where it was, and it's probably been done before because it's um, it someone will have found it. Um, powdered bottom. 
was um, the double definition, powdered meaning ground and the bottom being the ground as well. But powdered is ground and we've got prisoner of war is POW and we've got this resistance R inside deed, which is the act. Nice, okay. So endorse a letter from Greek for a Congolese native probably a Congolese native and it's probably not a Congolese person because they presumably are just called Congolese unless there's some sort of tribe so it could be an animal um, a, a weird African animal that comes up a lot is no carpy because um, it's the uh, there's only two words that can fit with OAI it's a carpy or Imani so you see a carpy come up quite a bit in cryptics and pi is actually a letter in Greek and endorse is to okay and then a is a so a copy it is wow okay uh, this is amazing um, I hope the rest of them are this easy um, now one on board mixes up flights one Is on board an inclusion indicator going inside of a word for mixes and then or a mix is going upwards and then a word for flights first thing that comes to mind I mean flights if it's not like things flying then I think of flights like on the back of a dart but I can't imagine them having a synonym you could have a flight of stairs. That's got an I in it. How would that work? Um, I in stars. So I on board mixes up. No, A on board stirs. So mixes up is stirs. Okay. All right. Goodness of people using army vehicles. Um, goodness of people question mark well, an army vehicle would be like a tank if that's part of wordplay then goodness would be the definition um, what, are there any other vehicles? A jeep? Ah, <laughs> that's jeepers. That's a cool clue. Um, a person using an army vehicle would, um, in, a, in a kind of tenuous way, be called a jeeper. Obviously, that's not really a word, um, hence the question mark. But goodness, my goodness, another way of saying that would be jeepers. So we're... We have everything except maybe that one and that one. Um, right, well, let's see, before we Google anything, let's see if we can use the grid because we know that these are all kind of cross each other in one way or another. So there's gonna be, if we can find an unusual letter like a Z or a K or something, um, We've got J for jam pack, W, there's a W there as well. Oh, there's a K, uh, there's a J on jam pack, there's a J on jeepers. Ah, well, also, yeah, we, like the, we can't, for example, connect jam pack with Okapi, I don't think, because Let's say jam pack was here. Yeah, the crossing letter is always in the third position on one word. Uh, and on the other, well, we don't know, but it's kind of these corner ones are interesting because like the crossing letter has to be in the third last position of one word and the third position of the other. Uh, but jam, so jam pack, 
the jump pad cuts can't work because the K would have to be there and you'd have a copy, but you'd be missing the first letter. So what was it? We had J's, Jeepers and Jam Pack. Well, they're the only two J's. So they, does that mean they have to cross each other or? I don't, well, if they do cross each other, They would have to be. They would have. I think it would have to be in the middle because, if you had jam pack, if you had jam pack this like this, which would potentially work, you couldn't put jeepers doing that because you'd again be missing letters. Does that mean that the those two? Well, I think it means they have to meet in the middle if they meet at all. But do they have to meet? Could you put jam pack? I'm almost tempted just to go with it. Um, well, maybe another question. No, that. But in each case, the third letter of one of these words is going to be in one of these orange positions. So, for example, jam pack. If that's if that's the one that's at the beginning of its run, then it would put an M in that position. And then you would need another word that had an M in the third position as well. Could be that one. Ah, but there aren't any others. So if unless this has an M in it, in that position, if that's RAM something, then you could have RAM across here and then jam pack. You'd have, which is to say, you could have jam pack in the first position of its row or column. Uh, it would be very helpful to know if this is RAM something. Well, mox is criticizes, but that's not long enough. I don't know what my abbreviation for attorney is, mind. You can't put DA, you could put AG for attorney general. I don't know if that, does that qualify as an abbreviation of attorney? Then you need something from for criticize, which could be mocks, but I don't know, I don't like that. It doesn't look like a word. So I think maybe, well, also if that was the case, you'd have jam pack, but you have a K in this position, which would be the third position. Ah, that's the other way of confirming this. Oh no, there's only the one K, it's the, the Okapi. So jam pack simply cannot ever be in that position. Because even if it has an M crossing, it can't have a K crossing. So jam pack must be in the second position in its row, which means by definition it's the last seven letters somewhere, and it will have a J in an orange square. And the only way that can work is if it's here. Oh, that's brilliant. Okay, so I don't know on the back of that which direction that goes. But it means that J A M P there will be an A in one of these, and the other will be Jeepers with an E. Oh, and they're not great letters, are they? Um, do I just put them in in one orientation and see if it works? Um, well, let's look for other unusual letters in third places. So Jam Pack and Jeepers. Oh, so well, the other thing of, of that is that we now know um, that stairs and graphs come before that. So this is either an, an A, oh, they're both A's in the third position. So stairs or graphs would give you that. And this is an A as well, okay. They're not that useful actually. Um, until if I start doing the other clues and I discover things. But um, anyway, so that's kind of, we can basically say that those two are taken care of. Um, powdered Okapi. 
So the W in third place here. Is there another W in third place? Ah, oh, well, Bowie maybe, or Bowie or whatever. I don't, I'm not fully confident about that answer, but let's imagine that's correct. Then they have to cross each other. Um, or they can cross each other in the third position. Oh, but where would that be? Ah, oh, so you could have down here, P-O-W-E-R, oh, sorry, P yeah, P-O-W-D-E, oops, E-R-E-D, or down this side. Then you have Bowie crossing it. Ah, and then Bowie goes with Tostadas, so if that was Bowie there, you could get Tostadas there. Uh, it's just a question of which side it goes on. Is there a way of figuring that out? Let's, just, let's assume that we therefore know that that's the combination. Powdered with Bowie, Okapi with Tostadas. We're left with these ones. Um, uh, so Bacon, well, well Basil has a, an S in the third position and the third last position. And the bacon has a C. So that S will definitely be in one of these things. So let's say it was like that, Basil. And then matrices. You'd end up with a C there, which would match with bacon. And so this word would have to... Um, so you'd have so basil, matrices, and then bacon, and its word, which would be R-A, and then whatever the rest of it is. If this is the, the R-A word, then this uh, becomes powdered and okapi, so it doesn't matter which way this goes around. If if this is if this is the correct, I think this is the only way you can do it. There's there's two mirror images of each other, and it would always put the okapi p in this position, which would mean that this word was. Um, is that right? Okay, a p no. So that, that would put an a in that position. Okay, A, yeah, this, the, the A is the central letter. Um, and this word would have an A in that third last position. So you'd have, is that right? R A dash dash dash, A dash dash, that's eight letters long. I don't know that's an A actually, but I don't know if this is an A, but. So what decides the orientation? I mean, maybe I have to do the other clues. I'm pretty sure I could just do either way. Oh, now, hang on. I, I was assuming this is an A. It may not be an A. Let's be careful about that. It's, it's an E and something. But since I don't know that this is RA, then... But it, it doesn't change anything. I've still got a puzzle which could be either orientation. Yeah, so I think, I think what I should do is just guess. Because then I can start to try to answer these and slot them in. And if it doesn't slot in correctly, then I know I've got it the wrong way around. Let's do that. Let's make this um, jeepers. Um, now 
Jeepers went with stairs. And then this was jam pack, which went with graphs. Um, this A belonged to a copy. So let's see. So I'm having to assume. Oh no, I don't have to assume now because a copy goes with powdered. So that would be down this way. Okay. P O W D E R E D. Um, with a little bacon. No. A cup. A copy. And the other one of powdered was. Oh, was that the? No, that was the bacon one, and then this. Oh no, I do know that's an A. Oh, I see. I that that third last letter. I know both the second letter and so this definitely is an A because it goes with the bacon answer and which goes with jam pack I think because if I'd swapped jam pack and jeepers then everything else would have been shifted around as well so you'd have the same set oh that's useful okay I think that's right um, so meanwhile up here we need our to start us um, and Bowie and three down, or just this column here, is one of my little basil and matrices. And that's this word here that we don't know about. Ah, uh, well, hang on, no, this doesn't seem suddenly realized that the thing that would disambiguate this is this is supposed to spell a word Sawajika seems unlikely um, yeah, how was that spelled? Sawajika Okay, that's not a word. So, so if I change the orientation, I would get a different outcome. Oh, that's annoying. <laughs> um, so, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna delete them all. Oh, delete. Yeah, I'll delete them all. No, I'll undo. There were some letters that I had for certain. It was going to be easier to. I'm hoping. I, I think this will change the. I say that. But okay, let's just try it out. A N. Yeah, it does because it changes. Um, Still going to be a strange word, I think, because it changes this from an E to an A in this one. So, fingers crossed. So, jam pack um, went with uh, graphs. Why is that bold? Um, seven down, uh, not seven down, um, <laughs> jeepers goes with stairs. Um, this was the RA word, which goes with bacon. This was matrices. Excuse me. Uh, matrices went with basil. No, it didn't. Hang on. Oh, is that not the matrices? Sorry. Um, it, uh, hang on. <laughs> is it 
Tostadas with Bowie. No, it's got the C in the third last position. Isn't that matrices? Ah, <laughs> I scrolled off to the side. Okay, that is okay. So matrices does go with Basil. Um, now the S in third place, this is the Tostadas, yeah. Um, Bowie. This is powdered. Let me a little hum of some elevator music while I do that. And then we've got this one which we don't know. But now we have a different word. S-A-C-A-J-A-W-E-A. -A -A. Sakajawea. Well, let's see. Um, Sakajawea. Oh, there it is. American Explorer. Okay. I'm not sure how that's meant to help me. Woman who in her teens helped the Lewis and Clark expedition in achieving their chartered mission objectives by exploring the Louisiana Territory. Um, okay. I don't know if I can use that, but, well, I suppose I, I used it in the sense that it got me the orientation of the grid. Uh, and we can probably end up solving this word just from crossing words, maybe. So now to get on to the rest of the clues, <laughs> and there's a lot of them, so um, hopefully they're not massively harder than the first ones. Um, so discover large gain. Okay, let's learn, that's easy. L for large and earn is gain, so discover is learn. Nursery supplies 501 newly developed peers. Um, D I, oh, so this is diapers. Um, 501 is D I in Roman numerals, and then developing peers into apers and nursery supplies. Uh, diapers. So, mean spirited sort of notice is found in street. Uh, well, notice can be an ad, bad something. Is found in street. Well, street is often ST. So ST would have AD. S sort of notice ad. I mean, normally it's just notice for ad, but I guess a sort of a notice is, is an ad. Is found in street. Ah, oh, but the is is treating is being treated literally. So sadist, okay. Mean spirited. Ah, oh, mean spirited sort is a, is a sadist. And notice is add, and then that's found in street. Beautiful. Oh, this is good. Um, jewelry given at evaluations. Um, given can be if. Bracelet has too many letters. Necklace as well. Earrings. I think earrings has two R's. What if it didn't? That doesn't look right. Um, evaluate. I think it might be a double definition. So something that's given at an evaluation. Is there something like, um, no, it's gonna say something to do with bling, but I don't know if this that word would have existed at the time this was written. Uh, so we're not sure. Um, French priests live in sonic classrooms ignoring principle. Uh, ignoring principle is probably a word without its first letter. So a word for classrooms or sonic classrooms. Is sonic a, homophone indicator. Um, 
What's another word for a classroom anyway? To live can be to be, I think. That would be inside of something meaning. And we're going to need a word for French priests then, which I speak French, but I do not know that word. Um, I only know one word for priest and it's certainly not five letters. So what would this sonic classroom without its top letter be? Classrooms. I don't know. Um, come back. Fort in area between Alabama and Missouri. Uh, this is going to be Alamo, I think. Alamo. Alamo. Fort, I think, is Alamo, and then the area is A in the middle of Alamo, and that's in between Alabama, AL, and Missouri, which I think must be MO. Because I don't think Alamo is a word, and Alamo definitely is. Um, partners of Drunkards Seething Pitcher. Well, partners can be spouses. Um, well, sou souses. I think a souse is a drunk person. I feel like that came up really recently, actually. But then why is picture P? Is that really an abbreviation? It seems... I'm pretty sure souse means drunk. So I'm going to go with it. Bird bath with red line. So a bath could be a tub. Um, or a jacuzzi or a... Red could be R. Line can just be L. So we'd be looking for a bird. Tub kind of doesn't feel like it's going to make a make a bird. Jacuzzi obviously is not any good. It could be a bird bath is the definition. That'd be a word for that. I feel like there's another word for bath that I'm not thinking of. Sink trough. Dishonest taking flight without pilot. Ah, uh, and also, did I? Yeah, I did an OCR translation of the PDF to get these, so I've got to be careful there's not any typos. Like, for example, I think that's supposed to be a comma. But hopefully there's no words that are misspelled. <laughs> so, dishonest. Flying. Taking flight. Without pilot. Yeah, that's flying without its first letter, without its pilot. Uh, man at the pole is Antarctica's occupant. Uh, that is hidden. That is Santa. Uh, man at the pole. And Antarctica, or oh, is Antarctica, has the word Santa spelt out in the middle. And so the occupant of that, of that term is the man at the pole. Uh, baby bears eating second of the little fishes. I have to be careful with, like, Inclusion of a word like the, um, if it's not necessary for the surface reading, then it wouldn't be included. Um, unless it is, so if it's not necessary for the cryptic reading, it shouldn't be included because it isn't necessary for surface con continuity. So that that's presumably part of wordplay. So second of the might be an H. A baby bear is a cub. Chubs. Um, 
wordplay is perfect, but I don't know that word. Five well wishes at heart for every spiteful person. For every can be per or ea. Let's say it was per maybe. Um, well, we've got five. So viper is a spiteful person, and it's the heart letter of well wishes is the I plus the rest. Okay. Delay ceremony having supernatural power. Delay ceremony. Ceremony could be like pomp or something like that, I think. Pomp and ceremony. I guess they're not synonymous. Um, having supernatural power. What's a supernatural power? ESP. So perhaps we have a word for ceremony followed by ESP or containing ESP and it means delay. Hmm, um, how do I do this? I'll do that. I think that, do I even feel confident in ESP? No. Um, end of some twiggy dark wood. Um, ah, okay, so this is ebony, with E being the end letter of sum, and Twiggy being bony, and Darkwood being ebony. Uh, gym rat exercising in Jordanian archaeological site. If I need to know something about Jordan uh, that's not myself, <laughs> I might be in trouble. Um, gym is often PE though, so that's a start. Ah, oh, and rat exercising would be an anagram to give Petra, and that does sound like, well, that is a, an archaeological site, and I assume it's in Jordan. Um, male and female kiss surrounded by witnesses. Uh, so kiss is often an X. Male and female are sexes. And C's is witnesses. Uh, 17. Sea God weighing 6,000 pounds. Ugh. Well, here's a potential Americanism because I 6,000 pounds might have a word like, you know, fathom or something stupid. Um, as for sea gods, I'm also, as it were, at sea on that one. Um, I feel like Medusa might be something to do with the sea. I'm not sure. But what that has to do with 6,000 pounds. It's got a question mark as well, so yikes. Uh, giant Harley Davidson carrying follower toward the west. Well, toward the west usually means a reversal indicator. So the word's going westwards instead of normally eastwards. Um, I don't know if you're seeing the direction I'm pointing correctly, but um, so maybe Harley Davidson, does that abbreviate to HD? And that would be carrying a word for follower that's going backwards, or the whole thing's going backwards. And then the whole thing would have to then mean giant. Um, what's a word for giant? Goliath. Oh, that's seven letters. Um, I'm not sure what. What is a Harley Davidson in that? H. A hog? Is that a word for a Harley Davidson? And then it would contain the word tail going backwards. Is a tail a follower? Well, I guess it is. It's a thing that follows you behind you, kind of. Um, normally follow means tail. To follow something is to tail, the, tail something. But that looks good. I don't know what hog's about. Maybe that's a slang word for a Harley Davidson. It would kind of make sense. Um, big brutish kind of machine. 
let's let's say that's tentatively right and Goliath obviously works with giants so um, <clears throat> maintaining union inaugurates some British rulers let's put a comma there um, and let's not forget actually that there might be some misspelled letters somewhere uh, so maintaining union maintaining could be keeping union would probably be a U I think inaugurates some what is inaugurate going to be some British rulers well British rulers could be kings don't know why they're British rulers it could be be kings with something inside speaking of Harley Davidson's by kings um, but rulers could be anything if it's not British rulers. It could be B and then lords or something or whatever, queens, um, emirs. I have no idea what's happening there. Uh, group fruit fight. Well, my instinct on this is that it's weird because none of those words feel like indicator words. So, presume we've got two words that we need short synonyms for a group could be a set and then we would be thinking fight was the definition we need a four letter word for a fruit um, plum uh, it's probably loads but date Oh, so data set is well <laughs> it's, it's kind of a mashup of things it's got date in there for fruit and it's got set for group but then group would be a data set as well fight does not mean data set so that's a red herring if we can put, use that strong language um, yeah Well, if, what if it is plum and then something? That means group. Or image or something. Fight can be box, but is it really going to be a word ending in box? What about bout for fight? Hmm. Three letter word for a fruit. Are there even any? Well, there are, but okay. In India, money raised going into grass mostly. This feels like it's going to be rupees or rupee because it's the money in India. Um, raised going into grass mostly. Ah, uh, oh, so raised is up and grass is read. That's a common cryptic y thing, and read mostly is just R E E. Okay. Navy only ordered material. <clears throat> um, so this is nylon. So uh, Navy is N and only ordered is Ilon and then material is nylon. Just taking the time, 53 minutes and um, we are some way from the end of the clues. So maybe get there in an hour hopefully and then try to figure out where they go. Um, <clears throat> so. String is wrapped around foremost of evil creature in creatures in Greek myth. Good grief. So again, some reference to Greek myth is never promising for me. Uh, string can be the letter G for the underwear. Could presumably be other things as well. Wrapped around foremost of evil, that would probably be the E. Creatures in so creatures in Greek myths probably the answer. I'll come back to that. Drains out low points. <coughs> That's Nadir's. It's an anagram of drains. Dances around British insurgents. Um, so a 
five letter word for dance is around the abbreviation B for British <clears throat> and insurgents being the definition. Um, trying to find the word for insurgent, that should be the easier one. Why can I think of that? Dance is to trot. Oh, insurgents are rebels. And reels is dances. I wouldn't have thought of that. Um, <clears throat> drop off last of booze behind a club. Uh, this is going to be a bait with last of booze being E behind A and club being bat. So um, hot pursuits of any A grantees bucks. Whoa, okay. I don't know. H can be hot. Pursuits. Could be following something, but also like a hobby or something like that. Don't know what Bucks is doing five letters maybe with bucks in bucks the trend like checks maybe but that doesn't fit but any a grantees is the big mystery I mean that grantees has any a in it so if you took any a out you'd be left with g-r-t-e-s I don't think that makes a word No. Okay. Get lime mostly blended in cocktail. I think this might be gimlet. So get lime without the final letter and that's blended to rearrange it and you get a cocktail. A gimlet feels kind of familiar. Yeah, I don't really know. Well, if it is an anagram of get limb, gem lit. I don't know. Complain about piano in spellbound. Um, well, complained could be moaned with a P inside for piano. But I don't see that. Ah, griped for gripped. So griped is complained and P is piano. Spellbound is gripped. Um, with kitty mount a tree. Um, Why have we got with there? Is that intended as an, as an abbreviation? A mount could be an help, I guess. <coughs> a, no. Uh, mount could be an indicator for reversal. So maybe cat cat going backwards. If it's a tree, I might struggle. CGI mistakenly attack. That is siege. Just an anagram of CGI. Um, paid athlete with unfulfilled promise in Utah City. Um, wow. Well, is that a city in Utah? Um, I don't think that there's not. Yeah, Utah City is not a place, is it? It's so Utah is the state, and there'll be a bunch of cities. There might be a Utah City, but if it's a city in Utah, 
then they might have trouble. <laughs> um, a paid athlete could be a pro as opposed to an am or amateur. Unfulfilled promise could just be promise without its filling letters. That's probably one for Google. That doesn't look like a city, but Unfulfilled promise may have some sort of legal meaning. Uh, I just can't, I can't see Prope being the name of the city, but who knows. Um, heat to remove unwanted stuff from fish. Mm. To remove stuff from fish could be to gut. Unwanted stuff though, I mean, it's fairly verbose way of saying that. I wonder if it was toe gut. I oh, know that, that, I was thinking that might be a fish, but um, it would have to mean heat, which it does not. To heat is to warm. Heat could be pressure, like if you put the heat on something, um, on a person. I don't know, um, what are we up to on a timer? Oh, we've, we've cracked the hour. Heat to remove, oh no, sorry, leave British dramatist King's hunting bird. I think that dash was probably just a line break or something or a mistype, but... Um, <clears throat> British dramatist King's hunting bird. Well, to leave is to go sometimes. King would be maybe a K with a word for dramatist in the middle. Oh, this is going to be um, a go. I don't know how to say this. A goshawk <coughs> or a goshawk. Um, this came up maybe a week or two ago. Uh, a, a word that I am familiar with but not intimately and I solved it it was a beautiful DA clue it might have actually won the golden waffle it was in the running for a golden waffle um, and so Shaw is the dramatist the British dramatist um, now 17 pays for eating orange lifesavers uh, pays for yeah this is uh, how do we spell this I can never remember. I think it's that. I always have to think the Americans pronounce it buoy, and it is ridiculous. And uh, buoy would naturally be spelled this way. So buys with the letter O for orange in there. And now busy, I put Ed off. To, uh, so this is tied up. And that's not bad. We've gotten through most of the clues, a few gaps. But can we start to use this? So I've got an hour and three minutes to get through the, the main phase of the puzzle there. And now, well, maybe this is the main phase now. I think what we want to do is to look for letters that are awkward. So this K, for example, um, and the B's slightly in this K as well. Might actually do some, some highlighting Sorry, uh, glitch there. Um, I completely destroyed my screen. <laughs> uh, so I'm back. And I was just saying that I wanted to look for um, awkward letters. And the BK and the K stood out. And I think I'm going to color them. Uh, maybe I'll use text color. Now, um, the rest of. No, there's not a B there, so I'll label that one, just so I can work with those to start off. Don't know what these letters are, but hopefully we come to terms with it. So now I need to find, hopefully the answers that I'm missing are not the ones that have the K's and the B's. Um, <clears throat> so, well, we've got Chubbs, which was a, which was a question at Mark 1. Uh, let's paint that red. K and B, and there's another one there. Uh, 
Okay, so far, Rebels. Goshawk, okay, Goshawk's useful. Um, there could be enough Ks to go around with the ones that I'm missing, but I'm gonna probably try to use this. Well, we've got potential for Goshawk there. That's very promising. If it was here, well, it can't be because of that. So as it stands, if the if the K is is one of these letters in the yellow cells, then the Goshawk can only go there. But it could be that it goes somewhere else, like um, where it doesn't, where the K is offset. Um, I'm sure there's an example somewhere of where you could put it. I mean, for example, you know A W K, and that doesn't work. Oh well, actually. Oh, it's impossible to avoid some of the letters being yellow because um, there's just not a seven letter slot that doesn't have yellow. So it's gonna cross somewhere. In fact, it's gonna cross two letters in all cases because you can't, I oh, know you could do that. You could go through a set like that in theory. So that would mean G-O-S, you would need an H. So here you could put Goshawk there seems unlikely because then you're gonna you're gonna have to have like I'm, I'm almost tempted to back that as gosh hawk well let's say let's imagine it was for a second because that would give us something here with a B and a G uh, there's another B meanwhile um, so the B's we had ebony chubs we would need a BG word, which I don't think I have. Oh uh, no, does, is that true? No, because it could be a line here, and this could just be a, a word with a B in the second last position, such as chubs. <laughs> okay, well, what about the W then? Like, we have an RW word. Um, yeah, let's have a look for that. Uh, and it's going to be from the uh, oh that's the thing to remember as well that there, there are across and down answers so goshawk is a down answer so yeah um so r and w at the end of an across answer i don't have that right now again it, it could be that it ends here so do i do i do i think i do this and I'm gonna color code as well, saying that maybe we don't, oh no, let's not, let's do this. There you go, now that's probably gonna to be too dark for you guys to see properly. Uh, too light rather, oh, I keep doing the wrong. There we go, I think that's good. Uh, so that's tentative, that's gosh off. Now, as for other Ks, like this K here has to be part of a down answer. I'm assuming every cell in the grid is filled. Um, now, it can't be Goshawk. And we don't have any other Ks. Oh no, it doesn't have to be a down, ah, oh, this is the trick. It doesn't have to be part of a down answer because you could have like an across answer here, across answer here, and then there's just bars that prevent that. Yikes. Okay, well let's come back to our Bs then. We've got Ebony, uh, on the down answers, we've got Rebels and Goshawk. Uh, so Rebels is the only one with a B. I oh, know, Boys as well. Uh, now. Ah, oh, this is tricky. This is tricky. What's gonna, what's gonna be the, I and mean, if I knew all the answers, that would be definitely more helpful. If that is Goshawk, then you're gonna have a bar here and you're gonna to have to have a word. Well, you don't have to have a word there, but you're likely to have some sort of word there because you're not gonna have a whole bunch of across answers, I don't think, that are all barred from each other. I suppose it's possible, I, I don't quite know. I don't know whether getting that would help. I feel like I have no leads on that. So let's just kind of go with what we know. B for 
across and say in the third, well, yeah, is there one with B in the third position on the across answers? Currently, no. If instead that was ebony, then you could put it in there. That would put a Y here, and then you've got this potential complication of, unless the Y is barred on either side, it would have to be part of a down answer. You've got nylon, that wouldn't fit there. And you've got the clues that I haven't answered yet. Do I, do I have another stab at some of these other ones? Just passing through them, they, they seem like they were pretty, I didn't really have much idea. Uh, this one here, I thought might have ESP in it. Um, that's not a word for a ceremony, like a... a religious ceremony, a marriage or a betrothal. It's going to be a short word for a religious ceremony or a, some sort of public ceremony, I don't know. And it means delay. Four letters for ceremony. Ah, what about a rite? Respite is a word. Does it mean delay? I guess kind of. I wouldn't normally define it that way, but you know, it works really well. We, and I can't think of anything that means ceremony for four letters. I'm assuming ESP is right, but it could be anything else. And respite is not a good word to have gotten because it's such common letters. So, you know, I'm thinking now actually this would be useful to do as a um, as a stream rather than a video. Uh, the guy that did it that I saw, um, <clears throat> he did it as a as a stream, and I presume he was um, getting input from the audience as well, which would be really, would be really useful and, and fun. Um, And yeah, I'm stumped by how to get traction when I don't know where this, where the um, bars are. This M here for a down answer. I've got that potential gimlet and nothing else really. So G I M L E T. So that would leave this having to be all barred. It's just quite possible, but. Yeah, let, let's think of, let's just pan back a bit here and look at like the lengths of answers. So they're all like five, six, seven. In fact, no, they all five, oh no, there's sixes. There's no eights. So they're five, six, and seven. Am I supposed to realize something kind of meta about the the geometry of the grid that's impossible to have you know three crossing words without them crossing each other without there being um, that, that you can't just have three fully barred across answers that don't interact with each other or something I mean I'm not even sure of this gosh hot thing <laughs> well let's go on the assumption that there's going to be at least one answer that's coming across like this so we would need something ending in a W, an A, an H, an O, or a G, or multiple things that do that. I think I already saw that there was no RW in my existing set. Could there have been, if I'm aiming for a W on the end, could I find something where, does that help me to pass the clues? French priest, that's at five letters long. I had some idea with that in the sense of the word B. There's a word I want to say I feel like there's a word like this which would be a plural of a B and it just looks familiar well, and it would potentially relate to the English word abbey. 
So if it's that, a B, a, a B, you've got B, B, E, inside Sonic Classroom, A, E, S, ignoring principle. A, E, S. I just don't see how that works. And it's such a short answer, it's not that useful to me anyway. It doesn't end in R, W, so. <laughs> bird bath with red line. <clears throat> So short bird could be like an emu. Bath, yeah, that's right. I, th I thought there was another word for bath that's not tub. In the spa, ah, hang on, spa. Sparrow, sweet. Ah, oh, and that, hey, that's actually the one that I need. This is amazing. So this is a this is a lock. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to town here and say, gosh, York, you are no longer purple. You are correct because we have, oh, and we've got an S here as well. This is, this is amazing. <laughs> okay, um, so um, they are definite. I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna label this as. Uh, green, I'll make it a bit darker so you can see it properly. Can you see that properly? Uh, well, these are the things that I concern myself with rather than actually solving clues. No, that just doesn't feel distinct enough. Uh, let's make it blue, no missing that. So Sparrow is done and Goshawk is done and we are on our way. I feel like that might be the breakthrough we need to get some sort of progress. And what's more, we can start putting in actual lines. So we want that to be barred. We want, oh, is that all we get? Oh, we get all of the, well, we get one below there as well. Um, we might, get more. We, obviously we get one, we may as well not do, do this complete. Um, I know it's not below there, it's just on the right. Uh, well, is it the breakthrough we needed? An RP going down, which don't currently have available. Um, OC is also an, a less likely one, not impossible. We don't have it at the moment. Uh, but if that is, if that is um, the end of a word, or it could just be that it's barred along the top as well. Uh, this may not be the breakthrough I expected, but, but that strategy was useful, assuming that there was going to be a word that that did come across. Do we have one ending in A? Not, uh, sorry, at the top here. Um, Santa, oh, we do. And Santa fits Petra as well, but that doesn't fit. Do we back, back the idea of Santa? Okay, I'm assuming as well when they construct these, they there's some sort of intent, kind of broadly intended path for fitting these in, so they, they Although it'd be very hard to structure these in such a way that it has a deliberate solve path. Sam. We don't have a Sam word at the moment or an M word. Uh, TOC going down, did I look at that already? We don't have it, but it may not exist. Uh, I like Santa there. Maybe we'll make Santa purple. O and H going, uh, what about Goliath? That's a, uh, maybe this is what I should be doing actually, is considering words that are, that we, that we know and that are tricky, like sexes or Goliath. Um, I think sexes, well, and bearing in mind that there must be at least one letter 
Ah, uh, but it's, it's too... If we had like, we may well do, if we had like an S and an S, you could say oh, that might be there, but you could just do sexes like that. Um, oh, in fact, yeah, that's interesting. If it's gonna cross over to it too, it has to be S and S. So if there are no, ah, oh, that could be an S and you could have sexes there. That might be the only example of that. Okay, what about Goliath? So some of those letters have to be crossing. That G is not going down for Goliath because of this. Um, and we don't have any other Gs unless there's one in here, but that wouldn't work because Goliath would have to go off the side of the screen. So the G is not involved. The O, is there an O? Ah, G-O-L-I-A-T-H, that's interesting. So we've got that potential. That one doesn't work. Mm, I don't think it's anymore. If it's not the O, then it could be the L. But we're starting to get to the point where we're gonna be looping around on ourselves where it's just not possible. But let's see. Um, yeah, nothing in here is gonna help with the L. So there just aren't any other, oh, this one here. Ah, oh, bugger. Oh, you kidding me? G-O-L-I-A-T-H. So there's two spots for Goliath. That's outrageous. What are the chances of that? And otherwise we would need the I to be, oh, that's annoying as well because you can do it here. G-O-L-I-A-T-H through an I. I think they're the three spots. I, uh, no, um, hang on. Yeah, you can't do it over here. So it's somewhere up there. Okay, well, let's let's look again for these unusual words. I, I, no, I really have to be strategic about this. So there are certain words that are inherently more difficult or more forcing. So it feels like long words have to, cut, have to cross too. Short words seem less useful, but they're not entirely, because like Alamo, for example, if there's no possibility of having Alamo cross two of these letters, um, which I think is true, then Alamo can only touch one letter. But yeah, I mean, how useful is that? Because there's just lots of ways that you could do that. So maybe it's the longer words. So. We've got Sparrow, well Sparrow was the first one and that worked. So we've got diapers, spouses, respite maybe, Goliath we've just done and it has 7,000 options. I think Goliath would be an outlier. I mean, how likely are you to get three spots for a long word? So let's try diapers because of the P. Um, that P is not involved. That P is not involved. That P can't be involved. That P, uh, see that one could be. I was hoping I wouldn't find one. Okay, so that's, that's how it could work. Um, if it's not doing something like that, then it must have two letters involved on the yellows, which this is good, because this is, this is unlikely. So, um, oh, and let, oh no, that doesn't work down there. Oh, there's that as well. Ugh. There's so many 
ways these things can work. Um, This would have to be ERS, so yeah, that's it. Would have to start up here, which you can't, yeah. So then, otherwise, we're going um, left to right. Um, D I A P E R, it's outrageous. You can put it there, you can put it there. can't put it across this one so I think it's one of those two positions spouses surely is the one that's gonna have the most options let's let's look at the down answers for a second then well gripped gripped was definitely correct wasn't it so um, Coming up to an hour and a half, gripped. Well, wow, gripped can go there. That's a down answer, right? Yeah. Now, hopefully, ah, now, and that would be nice in the in terms of it marrying beautiful. Ah, and forgetting that, that you need to have symmetrically. Ah, okay. That has to be gripped because there has to be a seven letter answer there. Right, 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 right. Now, we might be talking. This, this does huge amounts of things because this sparrow entry needs an equivalent entry here. Aha, <laughs> this is going to fall apart. This has to be respite, surely. I'm just going to back myself there. I don't think there's any other word that could have matched. Um, and respite looks like it is correct. Um, now, do we bother with all these lines? Uh, I wish there was an easier way to do lines quickly. Um, but I think I probably should. And, and then over here, respite. Well, we don't really need the one on the left, so I bother. So um, now this Santa, if that is Santa, then I would need to have a five letter word here with I, B, something in the acrosses. Oh, which I don't have. It could be this one, but that's the only one it could be. So is this, well, that's got B in it. So Sonic Classrooms Ignoring Principle. Oh, I'm inclined to think that might be right. We can also start looking for well, it would end in an S, right? <clears throat> I don't know. But we can start looking as well for combinations of letters that can't go together. Um, like if this was P, Q or something, then we'd know something about the other side of the grid. But P, P in the down answers, we had gripped, but we put that in don't have another PP unless one of the ones we're missing. How many letters would that be? Well, well, actually, yeah. And where would it be positioned? It, it couldn't be directly like that. So it would have to, it wouldn't have to include the D. But what about on this side? We've got, see, all of these are theoretically possible combinations. I don't know where the Santa's on the money. Now, if that is an across answer, then this would have to be an across answer. We need an across starting with D and an E in the third position. Uh, where am I? D, which I don't have, and it could be this. Well, e um, not earrings, the jewelry could be an S word, so you could have that. Given at evaluations. Not sure, and then if the equivalent would be up here, you need S 
BG. I mean, that seems unlikely, doesn't it? A sandbag. A seven letter across answer, starting with S, ending in G. So we presumably we don't have that right now, right? No, so it would have to be this one. Oh, hang on, I was looking at, oh yes, I was saying that jewelry could be that. But actually, if, if, if this is correct, then this must be one, and the only one it could be is, is this jewelry. So now the one down the bottom would have to be a, just another, another clue. So, but yeah, can we think of a jewelry that means this? Given at evaluations. Bag, uh, some sort of handbag or, uh, that's not really jewelry, is that? A, E, I, O, U. Um, no. Well, yeah, again, we can say if this was an AO word, which we currently, ah, oh, actually we do, we've got Alamo. That could be Alamo. This is gonna be useful because if that's correct, this has to be correct. Was this the one I was just looking at, thinking that it might be, oh no, it wasn't. Um, so EI in the across answers. Not ebony. It's got to be five letters. Yeah, that's that's interesting. If that was a five-letter word, this wouldn't have an answer. Oh, unless it is this French priest. It's very frustrating. I mean, hmm, what about the OH then going across? Um, we don't have something currently. This six letters, or this one's seven letters. I mean, that doesn't look likely, but six or seven, which would force there to be a six or seven letter one here and so it would start with P and O which we don't have so it would have to be oh but the only ones we don't know well, what I'm saying is that this one would have to be one of the unknown words and this one would be but both the unknown words are different lengths so that means that that does not go there's no crossing word there uh, that's interesting. So I think that means that, and that this one here is the same. Uh, sorry, this one. So then we've potentially got that, some word with P in, the, in, in it somewhere. So di no, diaper doesn't work. I have to have an O and then a P later on. We don't currently have one for this. And we might find the same up here in theory. Um, o in second last position, Sparrow has been used. Yes, it's the same reasoning. So now both of these could only be filled by words um, from that we don't have. And the two of them are six and seven, so they don't match each other. So that means that there must be a thing here as well. And this one is that. So now we're looking at maybe something going down through there. But again, we can repeat this logic ad infinitum. We're eventually gonna get somewhere. <laughs> now, do we have one starting with an O? Um, no. And do we have one ending in an O? Uh, with an I as well. No. 
this feels <laughs> it's starting to get concerning because surely somewhere along the way here we're going to get something um, so now I've got this one here which would have to have if it comes from here it has P in the last position um, so P in the so not P in the last position P in the fourth position um, the rest part we've done diapers ah so diapers it could be and if it is diapers then this would have to be a word as well with an I in the middle Goliath which is one of my spots for Goliath from earlier now it has to be seven letters long so if it's not Goliath it would have to be the jewelry Yeah, why have I got that one selected? I don't know why that's so I've got Goliath and um, diapers. Um, and if that if that wasn't true, then you'd then have this situation where this had to be. I'm going to go with this. I think just on probability, it's unlikely that that's incorrect that we've got this massive string of, of, of um, bars to put in. So Goliath, Goliath went up there and diapers goes down here. Um, okay, so we can put in a line over here. We can put in a line over here and we can highlight diapers and Goliath as done and reconsider. Now we look for unlikely combinations of letters. Um, ah, that, I'm gonna just back myself, is Gimlet. So, that six spot would have a six spot here with an ED in the middle going down. ED, yeah. Tied up. Well, let's back ourselves. Okay, so that does not give us any lines to put in, but it does take care of a couple of clues. So tied up and Gimlet. So I guess Gimlet is correct then. Um, I'm backing myself on a few fronts there. Uh, now then, where, uh, I'm just gonna get rid of Santa because I'm not convinced that's correct. Um, let's just look for some, we've got SK here. Now going down. I don't have an SK combination currently. If I did have one in this position, uh, maybe I don't look at that yet. DD going down. I also don't have IEAR GS. G S hmm. Actually IT might be useful. Can't be respite. Yes, yeah, so and IT is helpful because if it is IT, one of those has to be correct. And there would be a similar one in this position, no, sorry, this position with RU. Now, RU which we don't have. So we get the same logic. It's interesting the way I happen to have failed on the two clues that give me the most kind of indication about how to proceed. Um, so you cannot have an IT word. So then I think that's right. There's just not an RU in there, is there? And there's no IT for certain. Apart from 
from respite, which doesn't work. Okay, so that means we can put a line here and a line here. And now we're looking at, is there a word ending in I? And I don't think there was. And if there was one of the unanswered ones, that's fine, but we'd need a U word already solved, which we don't have. So that also has that and that. Uh, now, things are getting pretty tight over here, aren't they? Five letter word with an O in the middle. That could be ebony. And if it is, then we would have uh, just a five letter word down here. And there's plenty of words that could be. Tentatively, that's correct. If I have an E here, uh, ironically, that could then also be ebony. <laughs> um, well, what about this GS? That would be the equivalent of SP. Oh, have I put Sparrow in? I have. Um, so if that's not Sparrow, oh, it could be Spouses. So you could put Spouses down there. I think that's probably the only SP we've got left. And then this would have to be a, an answer. Ending in GS and seven letters long, which I don't think we have at the moment. So one of, so this would have to end in GS. Uh, oh, something about tags. Oh, I like that. Um, Maybe no, I think, I think for, instead of evaluations, I was thinking of conferences and you'd have like name tags or something. But tags make sense with jewelry to some extent. Hmm, I kind of like that, but. Hmm. Okay, where can I, where else can I look right now that's Gimlet has has a stopping point there. Where's the thing? There it is. Um, and tied up has one as well. Now, ah, stairs. Here we go. I'm going to put that in. Oh no, sorry. Um, ah, no, that's just wrong. <laughs> um, well, I mean, this then probably is unlikely, isn't it? What, what does that equate to, this position here? Well, that looks unlikely. But what could this be with an AR in position going down? Um, I don't have an answer currently. And down's annoying because I've got so many missing. Up here with, uh, with a TA in position. Uh, abate is not right. Yeah, so that's that's hard to confirm. Um, radio. I'm no closer to knowing about this word. So. Ah, oh, well, there can't be a word in here at all, can there? Right. So we can just block that off. I don't know how informative that is, but. That's just the way it is. And in its equivalent position up here, we can do the same. Um, oh, but these letters, ah, right, of course. If they're barred like that, they have to have down answers going through them because they can't be, they can't be isolated cells. So there's got to be a word that goes in here with a B in the, well, in one of the first three spots. Um, so that's a down answer. We've got rebels or rebels. It can't be boys. In fact, it can't be the B in the. Uh, it could be the B in the first place if it ends in a G. But if that is, if that has a, a definite answer going through it, then so does this one down here. But 
unfortunately they're down answers, which is not so useful to me. But this P though as well. Ah, now that P, wasn't there rupee? Yeah, that's there could be rupee. Uh, it could be propy if that's a word. Um, or it could be one that I don't have. But if, if that's a word, rupee, it would be that position. And then we would need a five letter word up here with an A in the middle. So a bait is possible. Do I any, the ones I'm missing actually, do I have any five letters? Oh, I do, hot pursuits and the fish thing. Tempted to try rupee and a bait. I'll put a B here. Cross. Ah, and then ebony woodwork. Hmm, let's just put this in for a second. If we had ebony and a bait, and then Rupee. Then on the down answers, that seems unlikely. It could be something like um, night or something like K N I G H T. But what what have I got left on the downs? We've got seven 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 five seven five. Okay, so it would have to be a five or a seven. Um, but meanwhile, on the other other side, if I've got ebony here, this has to be a word. Five letters would be cross answers, which is good because I know basically all of them. Um, could be that weird one. E in second last. Could be viper. Viper. That would put a P in this one. An R. And there's gotta be something going down there as well, isn't there? So we'd need an IR in the down clues. Oh, we've got Medeas, ah, yeah. I mean, this, I think this is worth pursuing. That's, but that's Medeas, this is Vipers. And that does give me a P for this down answer. I'll kind of have a look at that in a second. That and this means there's an equivalent up here of six letters long. This will clinch it if I've got a, an answer that will go there. Yeah, rebels. I haven't put rebels in, have I? <laughs> I've lost track of what words I'm putting in here. This is uh, not clever. Let's, um, I think, so we can say I put in rebels, I put in the deers, I put in rupee. That just happened. Please make that blue. Yes, uh, different blue. And I put in Viper. Um, I put in Spouses like a million years ago, didn't I? Oh, I think I'm about to actually, but I didn't put it in. Lying Santa. Didn't I just put in uh, Ebony? Where's that? There it is. So at least those two. There might have been more. Pretty confident I did put in more. Uh, a bait going down. Rupee, Nadir's, Rebels, a bait, Viper, Ebony. That might be it. But this is looking strikingly like spouses, so I'm going to back myself. Uh, and then this one, that looks like rat bags. Let's see if that's a thing. Um, so spouses, let's just say we're, we're correct. Now rat bags would have to be, the across answer that I didn't know would be this one actually. Oh, really? Oh, I don't know, I mean, I can't see that whole thing of working that whole thing working if but I don't see why rat bags is jewelry given at evaluations maybe that's something I don't know about let's um, let's back ourselves for a second now a 
across here, one across here. I think that was that was un. Well, there's no six. There's no. Is there a six letter one starting with a D on the acrosses? Only this one. And so we couldn't have another one here unless we have one ending in BG already. And I think I checked that already. So that means that's not a, a, a six letter answer. Is there, a, is there actually a short answer here that can work? Um, Ah, just so that would have to be all crossed. So you'd have all these down words. That one. Oh no, it could be. It could be here with an e in the second position. That's the best we could do, I think. Ah, so like sexes, Petra. There's a bunch of options, and then up here we have to have uh, this option with a b in the second last position. Chubs. Ah, yeah, I'm going to do that. So c. H U V S. Now this becomes Petra or Sexes. I don't know if we know which one, um, but right, we're super closing in. Uh, we've helped if I'd done all my little bars because <laughs> it's a bit of a sea of um, letters right now. But what about across here then? Um, no, is there something? Like, for example, there's nothing going down through there. You would have to hope. We should just be able to find the positions. Let, yeah, let's do that. So, um, yeah, so this here is likely to be learn, I guess. And then over here, you would have Petra. Right, nice. Petra wasn't a cross answer, right? Um, so, Petra and learn. It's interesting how this, um, once you get... Once you start getting these in, they absolutely just start flying in because it's just increasingly fewer places for them to sit. Rat bags, I'm going to say is right. I'm a bit confused by that. I might check that at the end. Um, so LMO, that could go there. It would have an equivalent over here, uh, which will be, uh, could be that one. be that one. If Alamo is not there, is there anywhere else it can be? No, so I think that must be Alamo, unless <laughs> I'm completely wrong from half an hour ago. So then I think this would have to be this, this answer here. So let's just put Alamo in blue and then let... Gosh. Now, this is going to have to be E I like that. So we'll come back to what in the hell that means. Oh, what about exist? I oh, know, but that's not the definition. Okay. Um, now, sadist is here. which has the equivalent position here, which is going to be this one. We'll come back to what that might mean. Um, so in that, that status is covered. Lying, I think I put lying in, didn't I? I feel like I did. Let's see where Santa goes. There. Let's imagine that. Ah, so that was what I thought before. Um, I think that's probably the only position. It seems unlikely there'd be another one right now. It suggests that there's going to be a five letter word here. Oh, that's, ah, uh, no, that's weird because that would also be this one. That's why I had that. Oh gosh, I have I gotten something wrong earlier on. That's going to be a disaster. Can Santa go somewhere else? I don't think it can. Ugh. Have I got the position of that right? Yeah, it would be this. And that's gripped. That's definitely Bowie. 
the only five letter word that we could have in that position would be this one. But I was saying that that EI belonged to this position because of Alamo. Oh, sorry. Um, could Alamo have gone somewhere else? Oh, wow. Or did I already put Alamo in or something? No, but I would have. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm going to have to try crack on with the downs here and see if I can come back around. Uh, so, I'm just looking for where I might put nylon. Or did I, I might have put that in as well. Ah. I've got nylon there. Wasn't that supposed to be a nylon? Maybe that's not rat bags. I, I assumed that was rat bags, didn't I? Ah, no, this could be ratings. Ah, perfect. So now we get we get my nylon and we get that um this word here is ratings, and I think it's correct because evaluations are ratings. Hmm. I mean, that's got to be right, doesn't it? Maybe ratings is another word for jewelry. Um, let's hope so. Uh, oh, and this is not supposed to be that stupid blue. Now, well, we're getting close to all the down answers that we know. So Siege could go here, which would have an equivalent in this one, which would be a five letter heart word, which we don't have. So it would have to be this one. Is that the, oh no, there's, ah, oh, there's that. That starts with potentially with an H. Just quickly check there's no other position for siege. You can't. Oh, you know what I might be missing as well? Because I haven't done the um, the line markings. Like the word, what was it before? This Alamo. That might already just be sitting somewhere that I didn't put in actively, but that I don't see it though. Um, but yeah, that's potentially going to have to be, was it this one, for Siege? Maybe it's Prope, I mean that can't, that could be right. Well you could put Prope in there, but that would combine with this and we're not going to have, oh, that could be Siege actually. I'm going to take out Alamo for a second because it doesn't seem to stack up. Um, let's just redo that because you could have siege there, and then you could have this. What was it? Um, probe. <laughs> uh, well, if if that's not there, I feel like pro is probably correct. So, where else are we putting pro in the downs? And again, it might be helpful if I already labeled the lines because I might already have it sitting there. Oh, there's a pro there. Pro vo. Which would put ah, which matches with nylon, so that has to be correct. Ah, so this is pro vo. I'll come back to try to pass that because superficially doesn't seem to make any sense, but I'm pretty sure that's right. Now then. Um which is annoying because we don't need to match that up because it's already matched up. So, so we're left with a bunch of clues. Oh, and what about this um, this business? Yeah, that will help, won't it? Um, what was that? That was this. So we now know that it's R A dash T dash A P S. Uh, rat 
traps. Is that a word? Sounds kind of familiar. Um, an attorney could be an ATT. And then rats is criticizers. Okay, so rat traps. And a rundown building, I guess, is a place where rats get trapped. Right, well, that's cool. That gives us the T for this word. That was a word. Um, six letter across answer, which is this one, which has now a T in it. Ah, a C god. I feel like there's a tri. Is it Triton? Or Triton? We'd have R. I and this would be an A or an O. Does that form part of a word with this one? I don't think doesn't seem likely, but I might be wrong. That would be this this kind of section. Uh, I don't know. It feels like well, what's the rest of the clue? Weighing six thousand pounds. Oh well, that is presumably a try ton right okay I'm gonna say that's correct so Triton's done or try oops, sorry Triton is done and we can blue that guy out um, and Alamo we're not sure about lying I feel like lying's in there already where are you lying well, if you're not in there already, you've got to be put in somewhere. You could go there. And I think that's the only position. So that would have an equivalent position. Um, one, two, three, four, five. I think it's right there. Oh, and ebony. See, I put ebony in already to match with viper. Could there have been another word there? It would have to start with an E. So it could have been that other one. Oh, except that you've got the O, so it's gotta be E and O. So I don't think there's anything that could be. So this has to be that B word, I think. If we're putting lying in here, and I'm just gonna double check that that lying hasn't already gone in I think I would see it because it's I know which direction it goes yeah no so that is lying oh and it's not Santa okay Santa's really um, been all around the houses as it were um, but he's not landing there this is lying this is some word meaning a French priest or similar still has an, a B in it so we're back to this idea although this is where it seemed to break um, in that we ran out of a position for one of the other words I don't know um, now Alamo is still I mean doesn't that just have to go here unless it's already in Yeah, I mean, that, that's Alamo. I'm pretty sure. Gosh, I hope I'm not wrong. <laughs> There's no way back here. Because we're left with this silly word. Where, where's Santa? Where are you, Santa? Don't do this. <laughs> Don't do this to us. We haven't got sexes in either, actually. Sexes would, I guess, be there. Oh, that goes with chubs. Okay, so so that makes sense. I mean, I might have. I'm forgetting that one of these just might not be right. That could be like Alami or something, or um, Sant. But no, I mean Santa was correct. So sexes is done. So this should just be a matter of troubleshooting and we should be able to 
prove pretty quickly whether we're just completely wrong or whether this could be right. Now it would be helpful if I knew more of these downers. I'm still missing a huge number of them. Now siege, did that end up going in? Well, I think it does go in there and that had an equivalent, I think. Oh well, it, oh, well, it has equivalent there, which is a word hearty. So if that is correct, and I think that's the only place Siege can go, unless it's already hiding in plain sight. Well, it doesn't go there. I might have once thought that, I'm not sure. <laughs> um, well, what does go here, actually? Because there has to be a letter in there. Oh, that's going to be... Well, wow, there's plenty of down answers missing. So, so Siege went with Hearty, and Hearty is five letters. So it's either this one or this one. I feel like a Hearty might be a type of fish. And that's got the, <laughs> they've both got the reference to hot in them as well. But if we did this, Heat, to remove unwanted stuff from fish. From fish doesn't suggest the definition is fish. Okay, and if this is hearty, then that would. No, I don't think it. I don't think hearty. Feels like Alamo is wrong because it doesn't have an equivalent down here. In fact, it definitely doesn't if that's a G. I don't think there was any word. Oh, well, at least of the one. Oh, well, if, okay. It's, it's opposite would have to be, ah, I think there might be a fish called a Ewing. I don't know why I think that. I know, there's a basketball called Ewing, but something rings a bell. Now, heat to remove unwanted stuff from fish. No. Oh, what about e-ling? So a fish is a ling, but that doesn't mean heat. Ah, oh, this is... What am I looking at here? Well, what about this, this seven letter answer? With kitty mount a tree. Um, oh, also, hang on, stairs. Wasn't stairs one of the answers? Oh, was that one of the acrosses? Oh, no, that was that one of the... Oh, that was one of those, okay. Um, but what about this? Seven letters down answer. There's lots of them. Oh, wasn't there something about a street containing some other stuff? Or was that... Hang on, let me just see. I think it was like a road. Street. Oh, that was sadist. Okay. Um, radio. So, maintaining union... Group uh, needs something that. Well, what this string is wrapped. Um, I, did I was I questioning where lying was? Well, there it is. Oh, but doesn't that sit opposite that one? And that was a problem. Hmm. Okay, um, 
um, let's look for words that could just be sitting in here. Um, tied up. Party, I think, is supposed to be a word. Provo. Um, pie. No, that's too short. Herpes. Is that a thing? Feels like something should be happening here. It's not. Maybe Chubbs is in the wrong position. Grr. This is really annoying. Because I've got quite a few seven letter answers here. And I, like, where are they? I feel like there could be one in here. Well, if, ah, again, let's remember that they have to have opposite positions. So we'd have to have, I guess, catalpa or something. What would that be? Um, could be a tree. Ah, actually, it could be a tree because cat is kitty mount a tree ah mount is alp ah so that is right catalpa is right which means there's something in here good okay so um this is catalpa and ah i was pressing the wrong one there we go so it's equivalent is this one here which I mean, I think it's correct letters, um, but no obvious reason to think it's not. So, it could be this, this, this. It's one of those three, and it starts with ST. It ends in an S. Well, if it ends in S, it could be rulers, or, or these creatures. In Greek myths. So rulers, then you've got maintaining the union, inaugurates. Well, oh, maybe inaugurates is a first letter indicator, giving us the first letter of sum. So for S, and so this would be maintain, maintaining union. Is that something to do with the stars and stripes? What's this letter here? Stewards? That's not how you spell steward, is it? Um, or stewards? Oh, hang on. Inaugurate is, is starts, and that's maintaining the letter U for union, and a steward must be a British ruler. Right, okay. So, um, I mean, how how is it that so many of these things are correct, and yet there seems to be an anomaly with something over here and up here? Well, this letter in particular is a problem. Maybe, oh, well, I'm forgetting that I might have something, it doesn't have to start with the S, so it could be like, something like that. There's gotta be something going on there. It has to have an equivalent entry. So that letter, which is, which has to be made up from a down answer, has an equivalent position here, which must be made up of a down answer. We don't know how many letters it is, but group fruit fight could be a red something for a fruit. Ah, oh, hang on. Ah, oh, look, it's the um, 
Uh, this looks like that word. What did we get just now that gave us that? Oh, hang on, I've got gripped right there. I've got gripped in two positions, that's nuts. I don't even know how I got that E. Because I didn't get it from gripped. Ah, oh, that's very confusing, what about... But if this is this word, B is BE, and you got this I something S summit classrooms without its first letter. From the point of view of French, an R seems plausible, an L seems plausible, plausible. ILS, IRS, Sonic Classrooms. I don't know, I might not be able to get that. But I should have a word through here, I think, based on the fact that this letter must be part of something. So, um, I really just don't know about this Greek. I mean, that could be anything. Um, oh, now, hearty, I wasn't sure. It seems to have to be an answer to one of these two. is H. Pursuits of NEA. I reckon NEA might be some sort of artists guild or something like the national, I don't know, some sort of college of arts or something. And so that would make the, their pursuits would be described as arty pursuits, giving us grantees bucks. I don't know what that means. But it would mean hearty apparently. <laughs> If that's correct, I mean, then this would be something else. But could I pass this in a similar way? So H for heat, H for heat, and then arty being the rest of this, and that being a fish. Doesn't seem right. I think this is going to be another one. Now, but if I've solved, it's got to be opposite one of the five letter answers, and it's not opposite hearty. So if these two are opposite each other, uh, sorry, um, this one is opposite siege. So where's, we've got rupee, which is opposite a bait, nylon, which is opposite provo, um, siege was opposite hearty, whichever one that is. And we need another five letter, there's the the one we don't know, and then, oh, boys, I completely overlooked boys. How could that be boys? And I've misspelled boys after my, my being convinced about the, because unless boys is already in the grid, there's not gonna be anywhere for it. Ah, well, and then that gives us Actually, now that I look at that, I feel like that is right. Stupid word. And that gives us this EB, and that seems like a plausible French word. It would be BE inside of something IBS, meaning Sonic Classrooms. I have no idea what that means. But if that's right, then I completely ignored um, ignored boys. Well, we've got the problem of actually of some of these additional letters. So like this has to be part of something. Ah, <coughs> oh, this could be lying. Ah, oh, because gripped was wrong. Ah, oh, hello. Now we're talking, now. Um, that means actually this may not be I. 
Ah, and it may be the A that I thought it was. Oh, that's still a res respite, I think. I don't know about this. I don't know about... Oh, in fact, I think that can't be a D now, because sex is there, assuming everything else is not messed up. So, wow. So, gripped is, is here. This is not gripped. It's some, it could be grappled. Oh, that would be that would be rude. Um, surely that's grappled. Well, let's just see that. So, boys goes. Boys goes there. Um, I'm concerned now because I really did think it was B O U Y S. Because has what I've just done changed anything about? I don't think it has. So I'm going to just say that is correct. That means this is correct. Ah, unless uh, I thought for a second I could put Alamo down here, but I can't. I swear to God, if there's another Alamo already in the grid, and I've just been overlooking it, I will be unhappy. Um, now I'm wishing I'd put in those lines as well. That would make life easier. Now, 12 down. The only word I can think of for this would be that. I don't know if it has a double G. Um, harking back to my um, uh, what are they called? Um, Red Dwarf days. 12, oh no, 12 is irrelevant. We need a five letter word going down, meaning snake. It could be a kind of fish. It could be that for some reason. Hmm, I've got hearty. Hearty went opposite siege. This seems like it has to be an answer. Well, it does, because this, this letter has to be involved. So if that was grapple, then one of these answers has to be grapple. String and Greek myth doesn't seem to make sense. Group, ah, ah, group. Ah, to, to fight is to grapple. Okay, perfect. Group is GR, fruit is apple, fight is grapple. Um, so we're really close now. I don't know what, well, in fact, we're so close. We've, <laughs> we've got every letter in the grid. So we need to find, ah, oh, now hang on, I put lying in here. So that means that this is not necessarily, or it's, it's probably not lying actually, uh, or it's literally lying to me. Uh, the N's right, the G I don't know. Oh, that's good because now I don't have that G clogging up this entry. Now then, so, and it doesn't have to be hearty either. Okay, that's good. Um, there's all sorts of things, uh, but this was, Helper, so that did have an L there. Um, we knew this had to be a word, so there's got to be a letter here that completes that. And Y seems to be the natural one, but meanwhile, down here, well, is there an entry on the other side? Oh, yeah, there's the grit. Ah, oh, of course. Ah, oh, so this is a word. Ah, see, I had an eye there for herpes, but I don't... Well, that could be... Wasn't that... What are the possibilities here? Well, yeah, there's this Greek myth, which I can imagine something like that. A, E, I, O, or U. Can't imagine any of them necessarily being strictly wrong. Ah, is wrapped around the foremost of evil is 
IES. So we need HRP meaning string harp. Is string synonymous with harp? Um, I'm going to say that it is. Uh, okay, so we're really, really close now. Um, let's just label that up. So we've got these two five letter words left in the downs. Now, did we end up getting, where does, where did Santa go? Ah, Santa does go there. <laughs> uh, I think that's where I always thought it was. Um, and it turns out it is. So that is Santa. Uh, and probably that was, con that's confirmed anyway, because on the opposite side of the grid, we do have an entry in, in Abbey. Okay, so that is Abbey which I think was the very first thing I thought when I thought it might be Abbey related. Um, B inside ABS, Sonic Classrooms, Labs. Right, okay, that is right. And we've got Alamo, I think, as well. Lying is in place. Oh, so we're, we're really, we're really there now. We just need to find, well, we've got boys down here. So this has to be an entry that means one of these two things, smelt, to heat is to smelt, remove unwanted stuff from fish. Or it could be heat remove, meaning smelt, I'm not sure. Unwanted stuff from fish. Hmm. I'm pretty sure it's smelt, as in like smelter, I think is synonymous. Remove unwanted stuff from fish. I don't know, but we're left therefore with, um, well, there's gonna be an entry that doesn't have an equivalent, or we haven't identified the equivalent opposite to it. So, um, so we had rupee opposite a bait that's a bait and rupee. Nylon, which was there, goes opposite Provo. Siege goes opposite Hearts, apparently. Oh, okay, so that's what that's that's one of them. Uh, so whilst I'm saying that smelt, so hearts must be this one. That's hearts. And that's it, isn't it? Uh, not quite. Um, smelt went opposite boys. And we're left with, isn't it, shouldn't there be another one? So smelt boys, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah, am I just being silly here? So that's smelt. And is that just it? I know this, this hot pursuits one. Hang on, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right, so one of these has to mean hot pursuits. Oh, that's the hearts. Right, and I see hot pursuits is hearts, and the heat thing is smells for whatever reason. And we have everything else in place. So we can blueify. We can put in our final answers. This was Stuart's, I think. And this was Grapple. And after two and a half hours, we're done. And now, for context, I think that. 
Um, the other guy did it in like an hour and a half. So um, I apologize. Um, if you've gotten this far and you prefer to watch a quicker version, um, <laughs> then I'll send you over to him. And this Saka Jawia was this... Um, this African-American person, was it? Uh, a Lemmy Shoshan woman, sorry for the pronunciation, Louisiana. And there's some connection between, I guess, some connection between that and the word guidelines. I suppose she was helping them to map out territory or something. Gosh, well, I haven't done my lines. Um, if you've gotten this far, do I do I put you through or do I pause? I'm going to pause and I'll come back to you with the lines in place. Okay, so I think I got them all. Um, I also noticed that I had mistyped this answer here. This is the Greek myth, which was Harpia, or the Greek, uh, the, cre the creature of uh, Harpies, rather, creature of Greek myth. That's um. Have a look at that. And harpy. The presence of harpies. Yeah, okay. So that's a that checks out. Um, and hearts. Uh, let's have a definition of that, please. Adult male deer, okay, that was the buck. There was also the NEA, National Education Association. That was, ah, oh, so hang on, that was, oh yeah, so, so now Grantees Bucks is, or no, Bucks is Hearts. Hot pursuit of NEA grantees. Yeah, so people who receive a grant from the NEA must be artists and they are arty pursuits. Wow. Um, Gimlet, uh, at this point, if it's incorrect, I'll shoot myself in the face. Uh, Gimlet cocktail. There it is. Very nice. Uh, Catalpa was, I think I looked that up already, did I? Or no, but it is a tree. Siege. Provo now is a Utah city now. How did this work? Paid effort was pro, unfulfilled promise in Utah city. So an unfulfilled promise is apparently a VO. Um, Patents. Uh, I mean, I'm, uh, that must be. Uh, I'm not going to waste too much time there, but that must be right. Smelt. I don't know what this is about. Heat is smelt. Remove unwanted stuff from fish. <laughs> oh, unless heat is S for some reason, and to remove unwanted stuff is to melt. And there's a fish called a smelt. Oh, well, there you go. So why is S heat? Oh, no, I see. Heat to, to remove unwanted stuff is the material. There must be a, yeah, there's a material smelt, I think. And the verb is smelter. Uh, maybe not um, but yeah well to, 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 to heat to remove unwanted stuff is to smelt and a fish is a smelt gosh uh, speaking of gosh we've got the goss hawk um, boy isn't tied up I think that was all covered off and I feel I didn't know what ratings for jewellery were jewellery ratings um There's a mm, given out evaluation. Yeah, I'm 
just going to assume that's correct. This one was labs with B inside of it, and RB is the French priests. Spouses, sparrow, lying, chubs, chubs. That was also ooh, a bunch of fish in here, isn't there? Chub, oh, no. Chubs, fish. <laughs> it looks just like the, uh, the, the, what was it called? The smelt. Um, Viper, respite, ebony, Petra. Actually, let's have a look at Petra. I'm sure it's a grand. Ah, that's that one. Um, yeah, that's beautiful. I've seen that online before. What an epic place. Wowzers. Okay. Uh, Triton. And we get a large mollusk. Um, what was the actual clue? Sea God. 6,000 pounds. Well, that's a worry. Sea God, okay. But how that's 6,000 pounds, I don't seem to know. Three, ah, okay. Is that got a question mark? Um, where'd it go? Yeah, so maybe it's not a word that means that, but, th but a ton must be 2,000 pounds. Ton in pounds. Ah. Ridiculous. <laughs> okay, so with that, we have completed this amazing puzzle guidelines by the puzzler. Um, and as, as much as that was a long exercise, uh, I really enjoyed it and it was very interesting. And I'll definitely be having a look at some of their other puzzles uh, to see how I go. Because in fairness to them, you know, the cluing was was generally pretty straightforward. There was a few standouts and some tricky words, but um, certainly not monstrous. Uh, and it was just a real exercise getting that all slotted in at the end. I think I could have been cleverer in realizing some of the dynamics and the, the symmetry thing as well earlier. And uh, had I been marking out the lines, it would have been easier as well. Uh, but yes, that was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed. Um, and gave it a go. And I'll see you all again soon for another puzzle.